Hi there, I go by the name The Celtic Storyteller and welcome to this mini-series where I draw a couple of tarot cards daily for inspiration to help you with NaNoWriMo. I'm a writer and a tarot card reader and I wanted to share the inspirational power of tarot cards with those of you looking for a little creative boost during this month to help you with the NaNoWriMo challenge. So this is for Thursday the 5th of November and obviously day 5 of NaNoWriMo. This is the card for your book or your character. And we have, oh, we got that the other day, so I'm gonna pull a second one. Maybe you're still right in that scene. <laughs> so we have, oh wow, the Two of Cups. That's a soulmate lover's card. Okay, interesting. And this is for you. Oh, look, I just have a feeling this wanted to come out. Four of Wands, how very interesting. These are two kind of cards in love readings that mean soulmate and twin flame. Okay, so as I said the other day, this is the card of um, having invested in something and you're kind of waiting to see the results, but you're at that point in time where you're looking at all the work that you've put in and you're deciding what's working for you and what's not working for you. You're clearing away anything that didn't work. Um, but you know the guy's also a bit sad you know because they're thinking oh I've put in all this work and I'm not seeing any results yet so again maybe that works somehow for your your character or your plot you know that that kind of sense of um, you know maybe this is um, you know maybe your book needs a bit more suspense like it's at this point where you're suspended and waiting for the next thing so this could be a, a hint to um, maybe build up the suspense a bit now, I don't know if your book is about love or romance, but this is a classic um, love card. It's a, it's a new friendship uh, love romantic offer, but these two people see eye to eye. It's a divine union. Um, they're soulmates. Their, their, their love is about friendship as well as about love and desire and passion. Okay, so, I mean, this is, you know, for you to decide how this fits into your book so you know I don't want to be telling you how it does and um, I just want to tell you what the cards mean and hopefully that like will inspire you in some way however if it was a love reading I would say seeing those two cards together um would be saying like you know your character say has waited for a while has put in a lot of effort maybe in themselves invested in themselves and this is showing now by um, them meeting somebody, finding somebody, or maybe they just needed to spend time on themselves. Um, could be externally, physically, it could be internally, um, you know, dealing with their own issues, and now they're ready and in a place where they can find love. Okay, and this is your card. This is the Four of Wands, and this is heart and home. It's security. Um, can also mean a little bit of magic, because um, magic happened around the fire, you know. Uh, it can be the card of celebration and it's also seen as the card of twin flame because you have this 11 and 11 here which is the number um, associated with twin flames so this could be a little bit of a reminder that um, you know the reason that you're writing is because you want to build um, security in a different way to whatever you were doing before so whatever your career you have maybe you'd really like to move into a career as a writer the only way to do that is to get down and write and you're doing that now with NaNoWriMo and this is a little reminder that this will hopefully bring you um, some security because you will be successful. Okay, we'll do Bob Ross again today. Here we go, Five of Cups. Did you ever think you could just take a great big old brush and make all these beautiful little trees? You really can. So did you ever think you could take your pen and make all those beautiful words? You really can. So that's it for today. I hope this has helped you with your writing goals for today or in the future. If you've liked this, please subscribe and like. That's all I have for today. So until tomorrow, slow on a wishing you all the best.